All right, so I'm going to be showing how to open up and disassemble this Lenovo Yoga 710-11ISK. All right, so first thing we're going to do is use a T5 or Torx 5 screwdriver and remove all the screws from the bottom. You want to keep them in order because they can be different size, shape, and lengths. The way I do that is I put them flat side down like this on my desk in the pattern I remove them. So we'll go like this, four, three, and then four. All right, so let's go ahead and remove all these screws. If this video helps you out, make sure to like, subscribe, and share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. If it helps you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. These are customer um, computers, so I don't actually own the computers I work on, so keep that in mind. By the time you see these videos, I most likely won't have the laptop. All right. And also because they are customer computers, I can't do complete teardowns unless it's uh, part of the repair because if something goes wrong, then I'll be blamed for the additional damage. So yeah, I can't really afford to fix all those things if it gets worse. All right. So now that we got all those screws out, let's go ahead and take a look. Excuse me. Alright, so how does this come apart? So we got the metal frame and then there's the plastic edge here. Um, this is an Intel Pentium, so it's a very bare bones laptop. Hopefully there's removable memory in here because the, um, what do you call, the basically the laptop, um, it's not starting up properly. So as you can see, I'm closing this and it's creating a gap here. So we're gonna try and start from there to see if we can open this up. So we're gonna pull on this. Okay, um, okay. So it comes out actually from up here. Hmm, how are we gonna pop this open? Is it gonna be easier to use a suction cup from this side? Let's see if we can do that. All right, so this is a Lenovo Yoga 710. Pulling from this side doesn't seem to work. Hmm. Wow, this looks to be its like it's going to be a difficult laptop to get apart. Um, it is coming apart a little bit there, but not really. Uh, huh. Okay, I'm going to get my fingernails in here. You can use plastic pry tools, of course. Uh, most people won't have fingernails to do this. And people that do have long fingernails probably won't want to break their fingernails doing this. So, let's see. That's not really coming out. Let's try and go from this side. Okay, so I'm pulling here, and you can see it's forming a gap. So we're going to see if we can go down the side. And Okay. So there we go. I'm lifting with my fingernail and pushing with my thumb here on the bottom. And you can see it's actually popping apart. Okay, so we got that part out. Let's see if we can go on this side. This side seems to be uh, more difficult, so maybe it's not going to work. Uh, i got to try and get into the gap. Yeah, it's not working too well, huh? Okay, so I guess we're going to continue going around this edge and see if we can keep... Popping it that way. Okay, it looks like it's somewhat working. All right, there we go. Again, I'm just sliding my fingernail along the little crevice and then pushing with my thumb, and that's popping the case open. So we're going to keep going, working our way around, <clears throat> and that seems to be working. Okay, around the HDMI port was a little bit tough, but we got it. <clears throat> All right, so here you can see this is lifting up. The back here is still somewhat stuck, so let's see if we can kind of wiggle this while we kind of pull it up. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna hold it like this and we're gonna try and wiggle this. Nope. Hmm, this, these clips here are super, super strong. That's pretty crazy. Let's take a look inside and see what we can see. Hmm, not really much you can do in there. I don't think there's hidden screws here. So we most likely have to just work this edge here. At least I think that's the edge. 
Oh yeah, it's opening. There's a little gap there, I think. Right? Barely, kind of. Wow. Okay, this thing is super difficult to open up. Um, I do see a gap here. Okay, so here you can see I was able to get a gap. My fingernail can fit in there, but it's not really opening. So, hmm. Uh, I don't see how this is going to pop out. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe I just have to lift it more. Oh, okay. I just lifted it more and it popped off. So I lifted from more on the inside here and it just popped off. Uh, here you can see the clips. All right. So here's how the back clips are. There's actually only three clips and then I'm not sure how these things work. Actually, there's four. Wait, one, two. Sorry, there's five clips. They're kind of camouflaging, but... Looks like that worked. All right, so we'll set this aside. You can see the SSD right here. Um, for some reason, it's just, uh, it powers on. You can see the power light go on, but it just goes to a black screen. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna remove the battery from here. And it looks like there's a um, M.2 SATA SSD in here. So it's not PCIe NVMe, it's a M.2 SATA. Keep that in mind. Let's zoom in a bit more. All right, so let's get a thumbnail of this. All right, so this will be the thumbnail. I'm gonna now switch over to a PH0 or JS0 screwdriver. And we're gonna remove the two screws here. Looks like there aren't any screws on the sides or the center, so those were part of the um, bottom cover. Okay, let's see. So, can we lift this whole thing up now? Yep. Alright, so the battery is just like this. The cable is pretty stiff, so it doesn't come out easily. We're going to try and wiggle this to remove it. Let's see here. Can we actually grab this? I'm going to try and grab the wings of the connector if possible. And I'm going to try and wiggle this connector out. Oh, it doesn't look like that's going to work. We're probably going to have to lift it up. Let's zoom out here a little bit so you can see what I'm doing a little bit better. Um, actually, I guess I have to zoom all the way out. <clears throat> so basically, I'm going to get my ha hand underneath, try and grab the wire and pinching from both sides. And we're going to try and just wiggle this. And I can see the white dot on this connector is coming out. So there we go. All right, battery model is here. L15M4PC1. Okay, so that's what the battery looks like. Um, I don't see a BIOS or CMOS battery. I don't know if it's possible for one to even fit underneath this motherboard. Um, so I'm just going to open up the laptop. You want to carefully, slowly open it because it's missing the two corner screws here. And if you're not careful, it can break the hinge mechanism. So I'm going to carefully just open this up. And then, let's see, where was the power button on this side? Is that right? Let's double check. Yeah. So we're going to press and hold the power button for about 15 seconds to drain any residual power. And that way, okay, that way, um, if it is a um, just a temporary boot issue, hopefully resetting the or draining the power will solve the problem. Okay, so we'll hold it a few more seconds. There we go. It's about 15 seconds. Now I'm going to use the hinges and I'm going to press down and close it just like this. Okay, on both sides. All right, CPU is soldered to the motherboard. There's just this copper heat sink here. There's no fans in this. Very standard setup. Um... You got the speaker connector right here, which has the wings. You can kind of wiggle and pull this out. And then a cable from this speaker goes over to this speaker. So both speakers connect through that one cable. You got a touchpad or trackpad connector here. I don't know why they make such a long wire for this. Um, they could have designed this to be over here, 
but that's the design they chose. Looks like the trackpad is removable. There's three screws. The keyboard is held in place with these melted plastic rivet mounts or whatever you want to call them. So if you do need to replace the keyboard, it'll be best to replace the whole palm rest assembly, which means you'll have to take the motherboard or logic board, whatever you want to call it, out and replace it into a new keyboard assembly, and you'll have to pull the screen and everything out. All right, the SSD is very easy to remove. One screw, it pops up slightly, and then you can pull it out. Same thing with the wireless card. Excuse me. Um, the wireless antennas, if you're going to remove them, you do have to get these cables out first. These latches, they just flip up like that, and then you can pull the cable out. I'm going to leave them in, um, but that's for the audio board here, our headphone jack. And there's also an LED here. I'm not sure. Is that... That LED is for, oh, the charge light LED. Interesting. That's kind of weird that they put the LED on the audio board because the charge port is a completely separate um, piece here. So you can disconnect the DC jack or charge port from here and you'd have to take the hinges out or to lift up the hinge to get this out. Um, there's two connectors here. I think maybe this is for the touch screen or the camera sensors and stuff. And this is very likely for the LCD or LVDS, whatever you want to call it. All right. And there's not much else. Keyboard connector, if I didn't mention that already. And yeah, there's not really much to do in here. So I'm going to put the battery back in and hope that fixed the boot issue. The screen was just staying black. I'm going to see, maybe push these connectors down. Um, if somehow the screen came loose, but it doesn't look like that's possible. Um, screen connectors do have some tape over them, but they look okay. Um, and these connectors, I believe you just pull them straight up, but I don't want to experiment on it. So we're going to leave it in there. Let's go ahead and get the battery back in. Okay, you want to make sure to get it straight in. Make sure that if you get a new battery, if the connectors are like flipped over, the red should be on the right and the black should be on the left. Well, it depends which way you're looking at the computer. So red towards the SSD and black towards the speaker connector. All right, let's pinch this back in. Get this back into place and we'll put the two screws back in for the battery. Oh, the magnet took it. Okay. So we're just going to get these screws back in and then we're going to power it up and see if there's any change. If there's no change, we're going to have to see, we might have to just pull the data from the SSD here. All right. So I guess we'll get a, this for a thumbnail. Okay. Now let's go ahead and open this up. I'm going to carefully open it again because it's missing the corner screws from the bottom cover. And let's go ahead and push the power button through the side here. You want to be very careful when pushing the power button like this because <clears throat> it doesn't have the rest of the housing to help support it. So here you go, the lights on. Sorry, I didn't show that, but I just pushed that little black plastic button there. And now we'll see if any change happens on the screen, if anything comes up. So far, I don't see anything. So sadly, it's, it's likely a motherboard issue. Um, you can see nothing at all is on the screen. You can see the reflection of all my cords hanging down. Yeah, I don't see anything at all. It's not even having any sign of life. So this laptop is likely toast. So nothing is happening. Nothing is happening. <clears throat> Um, and if you're wondering, the RAM is underneath this metal thing, but it's not replaceable. If you want, I can pop this off just to show you. So here you go. Looks like that. Actually, those square chips, I don't know if that's actually RAM. It might be. Um, usually the RAM is a rectangular chip. So, I don't know. But anyways, we're going to put this back on. And this computer seems to be dead. So we're probably just going to pull the SSD out so that they can get their data. And then 
sadly, we're just going to have to um, leave it as is. All right, so I'm going to shut this back off by holding the power button here. And yes, I tried the one key recovery button. That didn't do anything. All right, the light just turned off. So we should be good. Let's go ahead and close this back up. All right, sadly, this computer's likely not going to be repairable. Um, I can try pulling the LCD cables and stuff out. I don't think that's going to help. Um, but let me go ahead and remove the battery again first. Um, I was told this computer just stopped turning on all of a sudden randomly, so I'm not sure what happened. It, I don't know if it's a bad design or it, I mean, there's not really much else. It wasn't physically damaged. It wasn't dropped or anything. Let's go ahead and get this cable out by wiggling it. There we go. All right, I'm going to open this slightly and then do the battery drain again. Okay, hold the button for about 15 seconds. And then after that, we're going to go ahead and take the screen connection out. All right, we're just gonna remove it and then reseat it. Okay, let's close this up. Let's see if these will pop out. So we're gonna pull up the tape here. Let me actually zoom in and see if you can see that. Pull up this tape just like that and hmm, how are we gonna pull this connector up so all these cables are just like in this sleeve here so I can't really just yank it up I don't think I think that would damage it can I pop this up oh okay so I'm going from the side and I'm just popping this up there we go and now we have the screen cable out we're just gonna, let's actually brush it up a little. I don't think it's a screen connection issue though. All right, let's get that back in, click it back down and stick the tape back into place. We're gonna do the same thing with this touchscreen connector, peel up the adhesive here, and then let's try and pop it up from the side here. And there we go, came out pretty easily. Okay, and then we're just gonna line it back up and click that back down. That one doesn't really click very nicely. It just sits in there. All right, so there's not much else to look at in here. So I don't know what else to do. I'm going to remove the SSD and it should still boot up. It'll just say it doesn't detect the boot device. So let's take the SSD out. That one screw, lift it up slightly and then pull this back. All right, so we got the SSD out. We're going to put this screw back in there. And I'm actually going to put the laptop back together because I don't think it's going to boot up. So let's zoom out. I'm going to put the battery back in. I don't know if this laptop supports an M.2 PCIe NVMe. Um, if it does, I would highly recommend upgrading to it. It'll actually speed it up a bit, though. The processor on here is not too good, so maybe it, it won't really be worth upgrading. Anyways, let's go ahead and get the two battery screws in. We'll power it up one more time without the SSD and see if there's any change. Kind of doubt it. It's looking like a motherboard issue. But you never know. So let's go ahead and power it up. See if we got any luck. All right. Let's go ahead and carefully open this up. Okay. Turn this over to its side and we'll push the power button there. Oops, sorry. There we go, you can see the power light is on now. But nothing is happening. That really sucks. Okay, well, nothing's happening. Caps lock light does nothing. So it's definitely not even booting up. So we're just gonna put the bottom cover back on, all right? I'm gonna just leave it on. Let's go ahead and close this up. <clears throat> There's no point really um, turning it off or anything. It's not working at all. All right, let's get this bottom cover. We're going to do it in reverse. So we're going to push the top back here first. Okay. Just click that all into place. 
All right, it clips back in so easily, but it's a lot more difficult to take it out. I'm gonna go around the side edges, go around the front, make sure everything is clicked in. And then we're going to go ahead and put back all the T5 or Torx 5 screws. But um, that's pretty much all there is to this model, all right? Hopefully this video helped you guys. Again, if it did, make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. If it helped you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. Other than that, you're welcome to stay as I put back all these screws, but that's pretty much all there is to it. All right, let's get all these screws back in. <clears throat> The magnets are so strong on this thing. All right, and last screw. Alright, let's flip this over and see if anything changed. I doubt it's turning on or anything. The power button's light's still on. But, um, yep. That's all there is. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Alright, let's drop this. Bye.